guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this Jack Johnson song right now. I think you guys are going to really have a good time with it. Also, real quick, I appreciate you subscribing here to Marty Music and clicking that bell notification. It really helps out the channel, so thank you for that. Also, if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have a bunch of bonus links in the description below. Let's break it down. All right, we're going to uh, lower this tuning. So we're going to start with this E string being lowered down to a B. Then we need F sharp, then B again, then F sharp, then B again, and then D sharp. And so what we get is an open B major chord. All right, so we got that out of the way. Now we're gonna, um, go up to the fifth fret of what is normally the E string. I'm just gonna refer to them still as the E, A, D, G, and B in high E string. So fifth fret, and then pinky goes up to the eighth fret of the high E. And we're gonna pinch them. I like to use my thumb and middle finger. You could use your thumb and index finger, whatever's more comfortable. And we pinch those together. And we're going to build this up into the full rhythm. So first we go. So we do the, uh, that's going to stay there. And it's the eighth fret, eight. And then that low E again with now the five with your middle finger. So. And then just the high E. So. Check it out again. And this second chord is, I mean, you could strum any open string and it's going to be part of that second chord, but we're going to go. So pinch, pinch, B string, but, but later you could be like, you know, any note's going to work. So we're building up the rhythm here. So once again. From the top again. Okay, so now the second time through it starts the same way. But then this time it's gonna be that open and third fret to the first fret, like that. And then the double low E, high E. So, so from the very top, first one again now, second one. Now I have to do a new move. Ring fingers on that third fret. Thumb is gonna move over to the A string. So third fret open, A string. And we go bum bum. And so that next move, you can think of it as what looks like an A7 chord. You could use these two or these two, I think. Jack Johnson using those two. I'm more used to those two. Um, but it's the second fret D, second fret B, but that pinch is gonna be the, that A string and that B string. So. So from the top. already started to, I tried to limit what I was adding. And 
And so when you're holding that a, A7 shape, it's not A7 anymore because of the tuning. What, you're holding that shape. The last thing we did was that open A and B string pinch. And then you have to pick that second fret D and then slide. And then grab that B string. Then you hit that D string again and slide it back. So that whole move. So from the top. So now uh, what we want to do is start adding the percussive thing like that. So just pay attention to where they are in that riff now. So the verses and the chorus are actually pretty easy. You can uh, take your ring finger and cover that fifth fret of these top two strings. But what's going to happen, you can use your middle finger or your index. I prefer my index. But you're focused on those two. And then you're going to grab that fourth fret G and then the open B. So. And with the low tuning, you got to be careful. And then think of like a C major shape, but you're just playing five on the A, four on the D. Once again, you can strum the whole guitar, but we it's going to be like... You hear that B string the same way you hear... A7 thing with the slidey lick. I got you. No fancy stuff. You can get, because um, there's multiple instruments playing, definitely two guitars at least, stand-up bass, cello, <laughs> um, but without the bunda, it's a lot easier to, to get the continuous percussiveness, so...
right, so the bridge, we're going to take our index finger and put it on the second fret of the A string. And you get this minor seven chord here. Then we're going to hammer on to the second fret B string. We're going to hammer it on and then take it off and play it again. So. So then we do, and I'm playing the open D, then I'm pinching this lowest string and the D string together and sliding from two to four. Maybe not so hard. <laughs> so. taking that ring finger from four and sliding it to nine and then seven and that low E strings ringing out. So from the top. However you want to finger that. Then it does that minor seven chord again. Now it does a new melody, da 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 da, and so that'd be the open G, then pinching the E and G, and we're gonna slide from two to five, nine, and then index finger on the seven of the B. So from the top. Now the next one starts the same as the first one. So do two to four with that low E in there. Then you slide up to nine, then you grab, now we have to go over to the G seven. So. So once I'm grabbing that nine of the D, I'm hitting seven of the G, and then sliding with one pick, and then grabbing that seven of the D. So from the top so far, minor. Now we have to go to the second fret of the E and we're gonna play a little melody with it. And then we're gonna go up to the fifth and play a little melody with it. Then we're gonna go into this pretty little section up here. So you're holding the second fret of the uh, E string here and you're gonna pinch that with the B string. Then four, two on the G. Like that. Then we're grabbing the fifth fret, and then Pinky's grabbing the nine of the G to five. So then open G. So then nine on the D. So so. then five, seven on the G again into the next part. So
but with the open E in there. So think of it without the open string. We're sliding on the G from 7 to 9, and then 7 on the B. Then, this, then you just move that a whole step down. And then you hit the G, and then when you hit that 5, you slide it back a half step, and then hit the 5 of the G. But now you got to pinch that with it. bridge and that'll get you through the whole song so have some fun all right i hope you guys enjoyed the lesson once again thank you so much for the support if there's anything you'd like to see feel free to let me know in the comments below and while you're down there i appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to marty music thanks again and i hope to see you later